what is going on guys it's your boy Sisso here bring guys in a photoshop tour here today bring guys a banner design tour on how to create your own we're gonna call it for now advanced weaving for sure i don't know if you guys remember i did this like really cool like weaving sort of a pattern effect going it did really like really really well like every sort of weaving sort of video title that i've had so far on this channel it's been doing like really great so i want to just go ahead and just up it even more someone in my last video was like yo this thing is kind of oh, excuse me this uh this concept's kind of flat and I read that comment whilst I was doing something that has to do about weaving again. And lo and behold, I was just like, you know what? Let's just try to add this sort of detail to this whole little weaving thing. Or just realistically, as I, I, I find it looking like mechanical. I don't know what the hell I'm going to name my title, but for this is the actual uh, concept. So yeah, pretty much this is it. It looks pretty freaking cool. The middle, I didn't work so hard on. It was realistically just I wanted to put something in the middle. I want to put some kind of title thing in the middle. Um, but really just focus on what's on the outsides here, which looks really freaking cool. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. It's actually really, really, really simple. And uh, yeah, it's not that hard whatsoever. So do not forget, 200 likes on the video equals a secret down below. And as always, guys, do not forget to comment down any videos you want to see me do in the future. And if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty much ready to get this thing going. So uh, yeah, let's do this. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get this thing going. So pretty much I'm going to start off with my shape, of course. And uh, we're just going to, like, remind you. I'm just going to be calling it weaving. It's probably the most lame thing you've ever heard in your life. But it's too late to go back. I have, like, five videos. So I'm going to go with this thing. So we're going to use the uh, pen tool. Of course, it's the uh, shortcut P on the keyboard. And pretty much you want to go ahead and just click. And I'm going to click somewhere around, like, the middle between. Uh, by the way, the middle as in my middle of my actual banner design sort of dimensions here. So I'm going to click right, right around here. Just drag it to my right. Right, so I can make this first sort of circular curve on the left-hand side. And then I'm going to go ahead and just click right over the middle of my banner, just like so. And then just drag my mouse a little further down, just like this. So it's very simple, very easy, just like that. So I'm just going to show you guys. I'm going to connect on the op opposite side, just like so. And then you know, this little squiggly line here does not really matter that much because no one's going to be seeing that. It's just really what you want to have, like, right here. And I think this looks pretty okay. It's pretty good. And I'm, so, I'm satisfied with it enough to be like, okay, let's move on right there sure so the color that i want to go ahead and just uh fill it in really quickly i'm going to make a new layer right i'm going to fill in the shape with the color that i'm going to be using for today's video is uh the hex code 0c0d0f and i'll press ok and i'm gonna press ok and i'm gonna delete the path just like so and i'll control h get rid of that as well and then there we go so that's the my little swatch that i have here i'm just gonna hide that now but now we have our shape here this is pretty good because of course that's the main like real thing what's going to be going on for the whole weaving thing right so what i'm going to do now is i'm gonna make sure i'm just going to copy this and call it the original excuse me i'm gonna call it the regular i meant to say original but you know my 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 thought process completely just you know origin oh my god there we go right Hold on. Ridge. No, there's an I, you idiot. Okay, I got this. Okay, I don't know why I didn't. I thought I was. Okay. <laughs> we're just going to keep on going. So, Control J, and then we're going to double click on this. So, we're going to make a duplicate of the original um, shape that we just had. We're going to go to Inner Glow here, and we're going to make this a white, right? We're going to press OK. I'm going to make my size just a bit up here, like maybe around, I don't know, the 12 mark seems okay. I'm gonna press OK, and I'm gonna go ahead and just lower my fill all the way down to zero. If you guys do not know what that means, you can see that now the shape is no longer in there. It's just the pattern, or excuse me, the layer style that's on it as well. So my fill lowered all the way down to zero, right? So that way, all you're being pretty much seeing is gonna be the uh, inner uh, glow, which is pretty much what we want, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna rasterize the entire layer style, which is gonna leave us with just this inner shadow that we have, excuse me, the inner glow that we have here, right? So I'm gonna take my eraser, simply just take my eraser, nice soft brush eraser, and just erase where you believe we just need like to show like just about, you know, this much. Uh, I can probably leave a little bit over here, just a little bit though. Something like that, and just like show just a little bit, just like that, so we can get like some weird like little bevel thing. We're not gonna be using the actual bevel yet. However, this is sort of like a little glimpse of how we want to do it just for right now, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and just copy uh, the and uh, shape again. Once again, we're gonna I'm gonna change this name to uh, Inner Glow, so that we know what's everything's going on. We're gonna copy the original again, bring it above the Inner Glow. <coughs> Excuse me. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click on this, and we're gonna go to Inner Shadow. Now, if the inner shadow, I'm gonna always check use global uh, light. You want to take that off as many like as many times as you need to take it off. Make sure it's taken off on all your things. And I'm gonna go ahead and just drag this down. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger though. I'm gonna hold uh, Alt and Shift to make it a little bit more bigger. 
And I'm gonna do something like this, right? I'm gonna have something like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and take my inner shadow here. I'm gonna take my size and bring this thing up, take my distance, bring it up, and I'm gonna take my opacity and bring it up. Now I'm gonna flirt with this until I see like pretty much what I want. Like right here, I kinda want something like this. That looks pretty good. Size can go maybe a little further, like more like this. Distance here. You can mess with this for a very, very, very long time, as you can probably tell. I took a little bit on my example, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is pretty good. Like something like right that. That looks pretty good to me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just copy the uh, this, excuse me, this original copy. Well, I'm gonna call this, excuse me, inner shadow. I'm gonna copy the original shadow one we just did, right? Because I, of course, I made it a little bit more bigger and I wanna make sure it's the same exact size as everything. So Control J, just like so. I'm gonna go ahead and right click and then clear the layer style. That way I can double click on this again, go to pattern overlay, and I will give you guys the same exact pattern pack that I use in this video. I just literally Googled, uh, I think I call it like, like line pattern pack so I can get these little this little line one that I wanted. Um, I'm gonna change my blend mode to multiply. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put my thing up to like 202. Right, that looks pretty good. 202 and I'll use this one. Yeah, I think I'll use this one. All right, cool. So now that I have this here, I'm gonna go ahead and just bring this down. Or excuse me, I'm just gonna lower my fill all the way down to zero, and there we go. Now we have, uh, basically we have three different things. Now we have the original, which is just the original, but we have three different sort of effects on, which is the inner glow, the inner shadow, and now what this is, is the pattern. The reason why I gave it all in its own single layer is to make it just a little bit more easy for you to go back and then fix if you guys need to. But at this very moment, we're gonna copy the shape again and start using just pretty much two and one things. So we're gonna copy the original shape again, gonna bring this down here right and we're gonna double click on the original copy and we're gonna go to pattern we're gonna put the pattern back on so we're gonna use the same exact pattern I believe it was this one uh, and then we're gonna bring it to scale to 202 which I believe I had before change the blood mode back to what we had it before as well which was multiply and then I'm gonna also put on the bevel now so for my bevel settings what I had was nine oops make sure you change uh, turn off use global light but I had 90 percent uh, 90 degrees on the top and then I had 70 at the altitude, which is the, which is the bottom, right? And then my size was at five, okay? And then pretty much everything else is just the way it is, right? I'm gonna press okay now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sort of mess around with this. I'm gonna change the angle around a little bit. Like I don't wanna have it the same exact, just a little bit of a different angle. I'm just gonna tilt on a little bit of a different angle. Something like that, which looks pretty okay. I'm pretty fine with that. So pretty much now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and just change this though to the word, I'm gonna call it inner, uh, no, we're just gonna call it pattern and bevel, right? Pattern and then bevel. So you guys know what that is as well. And then we're gonna take yet again another copy of the original, Control J, of course. Double click on this. And I'm gonna bring this down right now for a second though so you can see everything. Double click on this. And we're gonna go to, I believe it's gonna be inner shadow this time, right? And we're gonna put our inner shadow up, lose global light, make sure that's off. I'm gonna get somewhat the same exact angle I have before, like this, put my, uh, my opacity up just a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and just put on a pattern overlay as well again. Put this on 202. And then multiply. And then that's pretty good, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just fiddle around with this. I'll move it around a little bit. Let's see. Let's make it a little more bigger, maybe. I don't know. Something like that might look good. Or let's just move it like this. Something like that, maybe. I think it looks pretty okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just make another. I'm going to, before I do this, though, let's make sure we name this. So you guys know all these different layers are just enough so you can go back and fix them if they're necessary. So if you feel like you find an easier way to do this, go for it, but I find this the easiest way to go ahead and just go back and fix it. So I'm gonna call this inner shadow and we're gonna call it pattern as well because that's what's in there. There we go. And I'm gonna make another duplicate of this one right here, right? And on this, I'm just gonna move this down a little bit. I'm gonna take my inner shadow and I'm gonna throw my size pretty far up to around like maybe like 235 which is pretty much the end of the actual thing so bring it a little further down so you get this sort of little weird kind of gradient thing going on here looks pretty good as well however and also before i forget let's go ahead and go to where is it where is our i think it's this one the the bevel one we're gonna press Control u on the bevel here and take our lightness take our scroll wheel and just bring it up just a little bit to get a certain different i guess texture almost a different like of course a different color a lighter color a lighter color gray that we have but it's a different sort of it gives you more of a texture so make sure you do that as well because i did forget to do that so pretty much now i think we're like pretty much done with the whole thing here if you want to want to go back and like rotate things to give it more of an angle or you think it deserves more of a different angle or something like that 
you guys just definitely go ahead and do that. You have the freedom to do whatever the hell you guys want, and it's pretty much why I gave you different options and different layers to go through it. So that's that. I believe this is just gonna we're gonna call it copy because that's exactly what it is. And uh, yeah, that's that right there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another original copy, bring it up here, lower the fill all the way down to zero because you guys know what that does now. Double click on this, and we're gonna go inner glow. We're gonna go to this yellow here. I'm gonna take a yellow, let's say like something like this. Press OK. We'll bring the size up a bit. Let's just, oops, bring the size up and then drag this down for a second. I think that's pretty good like that. Something like this, right? Because I want to go ahead and do in one second, as soon as I get like the right sort of size that I want. Something like this. Okay, I'm gonna click, I'll do this again. I'm gonna bring the size up just a little bit more. I think 18 looks pretty okay. We're just gonna go with it. Press OK. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna make sure I rasterize this layer style. That way it gets rid of all the things that I just did, but it's just basically now it's just that, you know, thing that we just have, the inner glow. Take my eraser. Let me just erase it just a little bit, just like so. Made another duplicate, maybe put it like around here. This is just to give it some more color in here. And I'll just give this like a nice little angle there. And then maybe just maybe I'll make another duplicate just like so, but I'll put a gradient on this one. Just little simple gradients to give a little bit more texture in this actual little like left hand side thing. So at the moment, I think this looks pretty good, pretty accurate to what I want it to be. Right now, I'm just gonna call this one, two, three, because these are all the different sort of like little hue things. I'm trying to name everything for you guys. That way, if you can go back and be like, what did he do for this one again? Or what order was it? That's why I'm trying to name them for you guys. So if it's a little confusing from the names, don't worry about it then. It's just trying to help you guys out in the future. But I think this looks pretty good to how I want to have it. So now I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just group everything for a second, right? Let's just uh, group this together. And before I do that, I'm just gonna open this up again. We're just gonna call this left side. Uh, boom, boom, just like so. And we're gonna make a new layer. And we're gonna go ahead and just take a nice soft brush. And we're gonna click on this left hand side, like right over here. Oops, I forgot to change the color. I wanna change the color to this yellow that I just used. So I'm holding Alt, by the way, to try to pick up that color. There we go. I'm gonna click on this left hand side here and the bottom of here as well. I'm gonna go to linear dodge add, lower my opacity down. You see how it's over here as well? I don't want it to be over there. I wanna take my eraser, erase that, because I just want it to be only where I believe it needs to be. And I think that looks pretty good to how I wanna have it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just add a very simple, simple uh, color correction to this whole thing on this left hand side. So brightness and contrast, I believe my settings were, what were they? 1355 for the contrast. And make sure you click mask this to this, um, to this, uh, what do you call it? Folder, there we go. Uh, just because I don't wanna mess around with anything else besides this thing itself. That's all I wanna mess around with. So yet again, we're gonna make another simple little curve, uh, or excuse me, another little color correction. It's gonna be a nice little simple curve. And just give it a nice uh, S curve, just like so. I believe that looks pretty good. And I might wanna lower the opacity down on this brightness and contrast just a little bit, just because it's a little bit too harsh for me. So 65% looks pretty good. I might even lower it to like 50. Mm, there we go. I think that looks 10 times better. So. Now that I've done this, I'm just gonna make sure I group all this together. Again, I'm just gonna call this our start because that's pretty much what it is. And once you've pretty much done this, you've done the entire hardest part of this entire thing. So now I'm gonna be uh, pretty much be doing is doing a whole bunch of duplicating and sort of, I'll show you guys right now, right? So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate this whole start thing, control J, right? And if you guys notice, if I move this around, it's gonna give me everything in the background as well. I do not want this. So at this moment, we're gonna use the start as like sort of like a go, like a backup and also like to fix anything that I wanna fix. However, anything else I make a duplicate of, it's gonna be one sort of combined image. So I'm gonna press Control E to merge everything together. We're gonna call this uh, part two. Cause what, what's gonna happen now if I move this, now it's only what I wanted, right? Only this right here. So now all the whole uh, shadows and stuff like that, I don't have to go back and change them if I make a duplicate with the entire group. So now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Control T I'm gonna flip it horizontal and flip it vertically. Um, if you guys want to, as you can see, it looked pretty cool if you flipped it just vertically itself and just that's it. But I wanna make sure I get what I wanted before. So right here, if you have this right now, you're probably like, all right, I can see where this is going. Very simple stuff going on now. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna duplicate that new duplicate that I have on the top right. I'm gonna call this right hand side actually. Right side, just so you guys know. And this is the star, which is also the left side. Correct, right? So on this right hand side, I'm gonna press Control J to make a duplicate. Every copy that I make, I'm gonna put it under the original, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it down, Control-T to free transform it, rotate it a little bit. Let's put on like a nice rotation of something like this. Or no, let's do it a little less, a little, little less, less harsh. Something like that, 
just like so right just like that so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make sure i do the same exact thing on this side so i'm gonna go ahead and just go to the start on the left hand side Control j Control e to merge it together bring it below the original free transform it and then just start turning it just like so i'll move it over a little bit i think i did move over the other one as well a little bit so i'll move it over give a nice little turn try to get this as completely accurate as i have the other one i think something like that looks pretty good right i think that looks pretty okay if not then it's whatever I, i'm i'm fine with that right it's not that bad off let's just move it over i think it was more like that more like that i think okay we're just gonna go with that for now though i don't think it was like that i think it's more like this see i can fight with myself the entire day just make sure you get it to as accurate as you need it to be i don't, don't want to really go crazy about that but you guys understand what i'm trying to say right what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to make it symmetrical as possible but for right now that's fine so on this right hand side copy again i'm going to call this two because that's the number two and this is the number two for this one as well i'm going to make a third duplicate so number three this is going to be i'm going to throw it below everything as well just like so rotate it move it just like this and we'll give it like a nice turn like that same thing with this one duplicate it bring it below it call this number three turn it just like so get this nice cool dope angle i know it's not symmetrical but don't worry about that that's why i made an example before the video that way we don't have to go crazy about it but that looks pretty freaking good and this is pretty much the entire sort of concept that i have here now i made mine look a little bit cooler by using just a simple color gradient excuse me a color balance i put my blues up a little bit right i'm messing around with my magentas and i'm messing around a little bit with my reds and stuff like that something like this because i thought this looked super badass i just like the little blue hint like sort of color you got going on here um i don't i don't think about the magenta anymore let's go this way there we go so pretty much at this moment, this is where you can go ahead and just start do, like doing some, I don't know, random text effect or whatever. I'm just going to call it what I called it before, which is advanced. And then make this white. Called it advanced weaving. Correct. Weaving. Okay. And I'm just changing my, I believe my font. I don't really care about the font right now. But I'm just going to just fix a nice little simple sort of like fun little font like the outbox. Uh, I don't know about that one. Um... Let's, what is a like a nice simple like that one's fine no that's not the one i clicked on you weird weird individual all right big noodle tilting just let's use that one because why the hell not there we go just like so uh advance and i'll put my weaving i'll make this one like a nice yellow or something like that right and i'm just going to go ahead and just make sure it's centered so Control t excuse me click on both of them Control t i'm going to press Control h to find my middle there's the middle now it's right back smack in the middle and uh, pretty much at this moment, you're pretty much done, right? So I did a little bit of stuff with my simple little uh, lettering here. I put a nice little gradient on the weaving word with the color on it. Just lower my opacity down a little bit. I put a pattern on this as well. Um, you can just choose whatever the heck you guys want to choose. Uh, I'll put this at 202 again. And let's just choose like a simple pattern, like something like, I don't know, this one maybe. Lower the opacity down. Keep it on multiply. Something like that, right? And then what I did for the actual background here is what I actually ended up doing was I pretty much just copied the entire right hand side. So this one right here, I copied the entire thing. I made a, com a complete copy of it. Control J, Control E to merge together, just like so. And I pressed Control T, I zoomed out a little bit of my canvas and made it super, super big. And the reason for that is I went ahead and put it right behind just like so. Put it behind every single thing besides, of course, the background itself. Put it on luminosity, lower my opacity down, right? Went to blur. Uh, you can do motion blur. You can do Gaussian blur. I'll just do... Mm, I don't want to do motion blur. I want to do Gaussian blur. Just like so. Maybe like a three pixel, four pixel. Just make it nice. Perfect. Press OK. Just like so. And now I'm going to do over this is I'm going to make a new layer. Fill it in with any color. If you guys are not... If you guys don't know the shortcut for filling in your colors, it's Alt Backspace or Control Backspace. Do whichever one. It does not matter. Lower your fill all the way down to zero. Lower this... Excuse me. Double click on this. And we're going to go to Pattern Overlay. We'll throw in a pattern at 202 size, I think, maybe. I don't know. We might change it in a second, but let's put it on uh, multiply. And we'll use the same exact lines right here. And maybe I can even put it on, like, overlay. Yeah, there we go. Low overlay, and then I'll just mess around the lines. Press OK. And then right below the text, I click on a new layer. Click on my brush. I use a simple soft brush. Click right behind this, just like so. And then put it on linear dodge add. Lowered my opacity down, 
and there you guys go i have my little simple advanced weaving don't know what i'm gonna freaking call it yet but I, hopefully it's a cool name if i don't make a cool name let me know what you guys think this should be called because i think it's pretty cool it's pretty fun it looks it looks freaking attractive as hell and I, you can even do anything like with i don't know it looks really good for like call of duty banners or gaming banners it will look pretty freaking sick i know you guys will like this and eat this thing up so of course tweet at me any variations that you guys have any of the cool ones i'm pretty much gonna retweet them and uh yeah thank you guys so freaking much for watching and dudes i'm having a really like i, I have a, like a really really good summer i feel like i'm just i'm living life like it's really dope and i feel like i should do like a you know maybe like a one vlog here or there i'll figure it out we'll do something but anyways do not forget to follow me on twitter at SwissBHQ to find out when every time i go live um pretty much do not, do not forget to like subscribe to me if you guys are like new and you guys are like yo you're pretty cool i like the way you teach let's just subscribe to him just do it okay and uh yeah do not forget to check out my selfie selfie.com slash SwissBHQ for any premiums and packs as always three dollars all my fun stuff is over there and as always guys thank you guys so much for freaking watching Talk to you guys later. Sesso HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling. Keep. Oh, God. That was weird. Do not forget to keep smiling. Stay positive and stay freaking productive, guys. Later.